What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Hogwarts Legacy video and today guys I'm going to be giving you a full exclusive guide on the broomsticks in which you can get inside the game. Flying in Hogwarts Legacy is one of the most fun things to do and there's some really cool brooms you can unlock. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first set of brooms you're going to be able to unlock is by popping the balloons. This is something you're going to do as you're progressing through the game. The more of the map you explore, you'll notice that you'll find these like five balloons lined up. You pop the five balloons and you complete one of the pop balloon challenges. As you progress through these, you will of course open up more of these brooms. You can see in total there are 15 sets of balloons across the entire map. Um, and the first one you get is the Night Dancer broom. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the Night Dancer broom. It's a really nice looking broom, very sleek. It's got the silver trim going around the handle there. And it's got little blue ribbons and stuff, little bell on the front, it looks like. And uh, you've also got the, uh, the br bristles at the back are nicely tightly compact, which is pretty good. Quite a nice broom to fly. Uh, let's take a look at it in action. And here it is. And you can see it does look really good. And it's actually quite fast as well. I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like all the brooms kind of operate at a similar speed. I've kind of tested it out to see if any brooms are faster than others. And to be perfectly honest with you, they all feel very, very similar. Um, I think the speed determines on how far you've upgraded your broom to a degree, to be honest. Uh, but this is a really cool broom. And yeah, that's the Night Dancer. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's get into the second one. Okay, the next broom we're looking at is the Lickety Swift. This is a really cool looking broom. It's got a little basket on the back as well. So if you're feeling hungry during your mission, you can go ahead and have a little snack. Uh, it's got the ribbon hanging from the front. And uh, yeah, looks really comfortable. To be honest with you, the seat looks really comfortable as well. Uh, well, as comfortable as it can be sitting on a broomstick, right? <laughs> Let's take a look and check it out in action. Okay, and here we go. We have the lickety, oh, the lickety split broom, and there it is. Look at that. The, your cloak kind of tucks behind the basket, which is quite nice. You get to see that at the back, and away we go. And ultimately, it's a good broom. It's very convenient. You know, if you've had a, I've had a big wizard fight, and you like I say, you want to have a little picnic, this is the one to go for. But yeah, there's the lickety split broom in all its glory. Okay, let's dive into the next one. Okay, this is the wildfire broom which you get for doing the third part of the balloon challenges and it's actually quite a popular one because of course this is at the back and it's all glowing red which looks absolutely awesome. I also really like the look of this broom, the fact it looks like a, like a twiglet and it's got the little red little gemstone at the end plus the silver bell. Overall, it's a really nice looking broom. So let's uh, let's dive into it and see what's up. Okay, taking this broom for a test drive. Let's take a look. And away we go. And one thing I like about this broom is as you're flying it, you can see the waviness, like the wavy graphics happening at the back of the uh, broom. Where it's where it's the heat is coming off of it. They've actually put those wave, that wavy blur effect on it, which shows you that it's really hot at the back. You can see the flames coming off of it as you're flying it. It's ultimately a really cool looking broom. Really nice animations on it. And uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorites um, in the game. So yeah, there it is. The wildfire broom, very, very nice indeed. And you get a little silver bell as well. Pretty good stuff. Okay, on to the next one. Now for completing the pop balloon challenge, you're gonna get this one, which is the bright spark broom. Now this one here is really, really nice. Um, I mean, just the look of it, the way the, the bristles are cut to angle upwards. The seat looks really cool. I love the metal work on the back as well. Plus, of course, we've got the sparkling stars on the front as well. It just looks absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, obviously, the one thing I would say is when you fly the broom, you tend to see it like this. So you don't really get to see the stars very well on this one. But I mean, it still looks absolutely awesome, especially at nighttime. Uh, so let's take a look at it. OK, let's take a look. And here we go onto the broom. And as you can see, it looks absolutely awesome. Really, really nice looking broom. One of my favorites as well. Um, I do use this one a fair bit, to be honest with you. Um, I would would have liked it if at nighttime the stars like lit up the area a little bit more, which would have been nice. But I mean, it still looks absolutely awesome. Um, definitely one of my favorite broomsticks to go with. And you can see the sparkling stars coming off the back of the broom as well, which does look really cool. Look at that. <laughs> very, very nice. So yeah, by completing the pop balloon challenge, you do get a pretty cool reward, which is this spark, which is this, this star broom which i really do like a lot 
Okay, let's move on to the ones which you can purchase in the actual shop itself. Let's get it. Okay, the next broom you're going to be able to purchase from Spint, which is Sporting Needs, which you can see is right here in Hogsmeade. It's the uh, shop where you go and do the upgrades, where you purchase your first broom, etc. Okay, this one's called the Wind Wisp. And as you can see, it does have a little lantern on the front, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, the bristles at the back are all kind of a bit of a mess, to be honest. It kind of looks like my hair first thing in the morning. Um, although I don't have much of it left. Um, you can see it's also got a nice comfy seat with a seat adjuster underneath as well to tighten it up. I kind of like that. Let's take a look at it and see how it flies. Okay, the wind wisp broom is really good to show at night. So we switch to nighttime here. And check this out. Here we go. So we take it up and the light actually does a really good job. You can see how the light is shining off the end of the broom right now. And if we go down into the dark, Let's take it right down here where there's not much light going on. You can see it actually does light up dark places. Look at this. How cool is this? <laughs> this reminds me of the first uh, Harry Potter movie where he's chasing the uh, snitch. Uh, who needs the DLC? We've got the DLC right now. Look. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can see it does actually light up the areas in the dark, which is actually pretty cool. So if you're flying in the dark forest or something, forbidden, or the forbidden forest, should I say, and you need something to light the way, then this might be the broom for you. But yeah, really cool broom. And uh, yeah, I like this one. It's pretty fast as well. I mean, like I say, they're all pretty much the same speed, to be fair. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. And that one there is your Wind Wisp broom. Very nice indeed. The next broom you can purchase from the shop as well in Hogsmeade is this one here, the U Weaver broom. This is bought from the same place as the previous broom I showed you. And uh, it's a nice broom. I mean, it looks more like a traditional broomstick. It looks really tidy at the back. It's got the green wrapping around the end. Uh, so let's take this broom for a spin and see how it looks. So this broomstick actually is one of the more underrated ones, to be fair. So let's take it up. And you can see it does look really good. Um, I like the way it's nice and tidy at the back. There is some effects coming out. You can see some sparkly bits coming out the back. But again, the, the main feature of this broom actually is where you can't see it. If we turn around a little bit here, you can see there is actually loads of little sparklies. Go, oh, actually there's a little sparklies going down the broomstick. Look, so it's twisted at the end and you can see all of the sparkly effects. Look at that. How cool is that? The thing is, you don't get to see none of those lights and stuff when you're flying around because it's at the front. But ultimately, it does look really cool. It's a really cool looking broom. So definitely one of my favorites as well. And I think one of the most underrated brooms in the game is this one right here that people don't really go for because it looks a bit plain. But overall, I think it does look pretty good. And again, you can purchase that from the shop where you get your first broomstick. OK, on to the next one. Okay, this broom is the Hogwarts house broom. Again, it's quite similar to the one I just showed you. Uh, it's a nice broom again. It looks pretty tidy down by the bristles end. And it's got the silver tip with the green ribbons. And it's actually quite a nice looking broom as well. I like the stick on this one. And but although it does look a bit more uncomfortable with no cushioning to sit on. Um, I don't think your bum's going to feel too comfortable after a few hours riding on this. Um, but this looks pretty good. And I'll show you this one quickly as we fly about. It's quite similar to the one I just showed you. Okay, let's take this broom for a spin. And to be perfectly honest, the Hogwarts house broom lives up to its name. It is literally just a house broom. <laughs> it doesn't have any sparkles or special effects. You know, it just is a broomstick with a silver end and a green ribbon. No kind of glistens or sparkles or flames or anything cool. It's just uh, it's a standard broom. So if you prefer the, the natural look, shall we say, without any kind of magical stuff going on, I guess this is the broom for you, but uh, not my favorite one, to be perfectly honest, but it's nice to have in the collection nonetheless. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the last broom you're going to purchase from the store itself in Hogsmeade is going to be the Moon Trimmer Broom. And this one's actually quite cool. It's got some pouches at the back, so if you need to store some supplies, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Obviously not real. That's just me saying it because it looks like you could. <laughs> and it's also got the uh, silver lantern on the front, which is actually really cool as well. I really like that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this on the Quidditch pitch and see what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look at this broom and away we go. It's a really nice looking broom. Like the other one, this lantern does light up uh, dark areas, which is quite nice if you're going through the dark forest or anything like that it will actually light up the way for you. 
Uh, the back does look really good as well. I mean, overall, it's a, a standard broom with a light at the front. Um, although it does have the little, little, I don't know what they are, whether they're twigs or little flies. Looks like maybe flies that are <laughs> attracted to the lamp. They kind of buzz around the front lamp there, if you can see those. Um, it, looks, it looks good. I mean, it's a nice looking broom. I like the way it spikes up at the end. I think it's probably the best one out of the two with regards to the lanterns. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. There we go. That is your final broom that you can purchase from the actual store itself in Hogsmeade. Now, the rest of the brooms are going to be from stores that pop up around the kingdom map. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you those right now. Let's get into it. Okay, so the next broom you can get is from a store that pops up on the kingdom map. Now, there's two locations where you can get it from this store. Um, and it's between Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. You can see if I zoom right in here, uh, you can see on the right here, you can see a store here called Leopold Babcock. Um, it's going to be 5,000 gold, so it's definitely not cheap. Uh, but that is the place where you can get it. And if you actually scroll up the map, okay, a bit here, there we go, to the top of the map and zoom in. There's a flue here, which is the East North Ford Bog, okay. And just to the left is another store, and you can see there Leopold Babcock. That's the same store, same guy. He gets around a lot, and he'll have a broom for you for sale for 5,000. And what broom am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about one of the nicest looking brooms in the game, to be fair. And it's this one here, the Sky Scythe broom. This one is pretty good, it is one of my favorites. It does have the green and black bristles. And uh, yeah, it's pretty quick. It's a pretty quick broom. I do like it a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and take it for a spin on the on the Quidditch pitch and see how it performs. Let's go. Okay, let's take it up and away we go. And you can see this looks really cool. Um, and again, you can see from the speed I'm going, it doesn't feel really any faster than the other brooms, to be honest. I've really, like, like I said, I think it just comes down to what level your brooms are. But this is a really nice broom, the Sky Scythe broom. It's got, it doesn't have any like glittery special effects, sparklies or anything. I just like the bristles. I like the green and black bristles at the back. It looks pretty cool. Um, so there you go. Really nice broom. The Sky Scythe, if that's well, the one you're looking for, then you can get this from the Leopold Bob Bobcock, Bobcock, whatever his name is. You know what I mean? I said it a minute ago. <laughs> you can get it from that store uh, for 5,000 gold. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, at the beginning of the game, you're going to come across a goblin called Arn, and he's going to have a chat with you and tell you that bandits or poachers have taken his... A marketplace cart away from him and he can't no longer trade and he asks if you'll go over to the, the camp and save it for him basically clear the camp out it's pretty easy to do at the start of the game once you clear them out and rescue his cart uh, come back a little bit later to this location here if we go down and zoom in here you can see just on the right here there it is on he opens up a little store on this location on the map the closest flu is going to be this one central hogwarts valley um and then just literally just south and there it is uh, but like i say you got to complete that quest first and like i say it happens right at the beginning of the game you see you shouldn't miss that at all once you do get on unlocked you are going to be able to go and purchase a broomstick from him i think it's either three or five thousand gold once again um, and he does give you a rather tasty looking broom it's going to be goblin made which is quite nice and i'll show you which one it is it is it's not the sky scythe it's where is it <laughs> got off this one it's a really cool looking broom. This is the silver arrow broom. It's got the silver arrow tip. It's got the bit of wood that kind of goes down as well, which I kind of like it's for aerodynamics, of course. Uh, the back looks good. It's a blonde. We love a good blonde. And then you've got the silver seat as well. It looks a bit uncomfortable to sit on, but you can't deny it looks absolutely amazing. So this could be the pog broom of the broomsticks that you do get. Uh, let's take it for a spin again i don't feel like it goes any faster than the other ones but in my mind it kind of does go faster and i'll be honest this is the broomstick i generally use most of the time to be perfectly honest it is a cool looking broomstick and uh, away we go there it is look at that i do like the little spiky bit at the bottom i was kind of hoping that when i went over water i could stick it in the water and make little waves but it doesn't quite work so it doesn't matter i did try it out though um, but yeah, ultimately, a really nice looking broom. I feel like if I fly into someone with this, I'm going to cause massive damage. Although it doesn't do anything at all. But, you know, I like to think that. Um, but yeah, no, ultimately, very nice broomstick. Very nice as well. It's like the silver spear. It's uh, it's rather cool, right? <laughs> I do like this one. Okay, there you go. 
So that's that one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, moving on to the next broomstick. You're going to need to come down to the bottom left hand side of the map. Uh, so this is kind of like where Feld Crockwood Castle and Feldcroft is. Um, you'll come here during the game with Sebastian to come and visit his sister and uncle, etc. Well, where Feldcroft is, if you just go to the north just a little bit, there we go. So the next little building up here, you can see a pop-up shop appears from Priya Treadwell. Now, she does also have a secondary location as well. If you go down the map over here, where is it? There it is. And then it's right there look <laughs> priya treadwell you can see there's another location here closest flu for this i guess would either be uh irondale and then go like down to the southwest um or you could go this way from feldcroft catacomb and go southeast towards it but that there is is the next pop-up place she goes and what do you get from priya well priya's got an interesting broom for us as if things couldn't get more basic right check out what priya's got for us priya has given us this it's called the family antique broom and an antique is exactly what it is you can see that those bristles look like they need some loving definitely needs a good comb right um and the actual stick is uh kind of all over the place but yeah this is the antique broom i think it's like two or three thousand uh, gold it's not that expensive uh, but let's take it for a spin if it still works we might need a jump start and see what this broom looks like so here we go with the family antique broom and away we go you definitely can't miss those bristles at the back <laughs> it does look good i mean i guess it's more like a tra tra traditional kind of witch's broom isn't it all the craggly spikely bits at the back and everything and the you know the the basic looking dark brown broom the little red ribbon trim at the end kind of finishes it off but yeah no i mean it's a nice broom um i don't think it's really for me it makes my cloak arch over it quite quite makes me look like i got a, something it makes me look like i got a bit of a dump truck doesn't it i mean that's what it looks like but i mean hey ho it's a nice looking broom anyway and we definitely want it in the collection and that there is your antique broom from priya pretty good stuff i've got one more broom to show you are you ready let's get it so for the next broom we're coming right down south here to poidseer coast and in poidseer coast let me just zoom in here you're going to see there is a bridge. You see the two bridges going across uh, the water? Well, between those two bridges, just next to this castle, I found another pop-up shop for Rohan Prakash. Now, Rohan had a broomstick for sale, which kind of surprised me because I thought I had them all. And then I met, bumped into Rohan here, and he offered me something very interesting, which I bought straight away for 3,000 gold. And I'm going to show you that right now he gave me a very nice broom i wasn't expecting this at all but check it out we got the aeromancer broom which i haven't seen anywhere until i found it literally about an hour ago <laughs> um so check this out this is the like a potion master's broom which is pretty good stuff the back is pretty rough looking with like gray bristles it's got a very nice seat and please notice the lower back support I think that's absolutely awesome and then it's actually a really nice wooden broomstick it's got like a grip there as well but look at the little cauldron pot on the end very cute little silver pool cauldron pot we've got there and a nice twist to the end of the broom and i thought it looked good now but when i put it when i actually rode this broom check it out it's actually pretty cool when you actually ride this look one two three and away we go not only does this look really cool but the cauldron bubbles look at this we've actually got blue smoke blue potion powder smoke coming out of the cauldron at the end which i think looks absolutely awesome i love that i like this broom a lot i have to say <laughs> i've only just got it but i think i might be using this for a little while because it's quite unique i like the blower back support um i like the little bubbling cauldron in the front i think it's really cute and uh, yeah definitely one of my favorite brooms that i've found uh in searching for broomsticks uh but that is all the broomsticks i have for you today guys i hope you found this guide informative hopefully there was some here that you haven't got that you want to go and get yourself and like i said if you've got a broomstick that you found that i haven't got please do let me know in the comments what it is and where you found it and i'll go and get it and i'll review it because i want to get all the broomsticks i love flying and I really hope they bring a Quidditch DLC. Please, developers, please, please give us a Quidditch DLC. We all want to play Quidditch. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not going to beg anymore. That's that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.